Hey there, it is Simon here and today we are going to learn how to play Beware of Darkness by George Harrison, the one and only George Harrison, my man. See you in a second, bye for now. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate this. It's a big shout out for Michael, who is one of my patrons over at www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. Uh, he has been a subscriber there for a, quite a while now, taking advantage of a whole bunch of awesome things. Uh, my chart library of over 3000 charts, exclusive videos every month, uh, longer theory videos, um, requested videos, all sorts of things. And he asked that I would learn this song Beware of Darkness. So I learnt it, listened to it, wrote the chart. I'm going to be sending him the chart. And here's the video. Simple as that. Let's get to it. If you are not subscribed here already, please do subscribe. Click the bell. All right, let's kick it off. We're going to play a B major. Now, I'm playing an A shape bar chord at the second fret. I use my little finger to play A shape bar chord sometimes, and I use my third finger other times. I hardly ever, ever do this. I tried doing it when I was a kid, it just wasn't really my thing. And the, the cool thing about using your, um, your little finger actually is when you... Kind of cool riffs like that, or if you use your third finger and you're getting all rock and roll stuff, you basically have access to everything. Whereas if you're using all of these guys, you can't really do much if you need to. Anyway. So, we're in 4-4, four, four, regular tuning, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, just like that. So we've got two bars to kill off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, G7. Now, what on the 4 there, I played an A under the B. Okay, so basically B with an A bass. The lowest note in every single chord is always the name of the chord. So like B major, B in the bass. G major, G in the bass. C major, C in the bass. A minor, A in the bass, and so on and so forth. Sometimes you'll get a slash and then another letter. So like, so for example, B slash A, and that basically means you're playing a B major chord with an A in the bass. So easy. All right, so G7. It's a G major chord at the third fret. My little finger is floating away there. So that's a G7. If you really felt making it extra seventh theme, you could put your little finger there on F, the sixth fret of the B string. Now we're gonna play a whole bar of that. Let's just follow it through, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Some amazing changes in this song. Oh, George. One, Two, three, four, one, two, G sharp minor, C sharp minor. Okay, now here um, we've got C sharp minor. You could put a little B in the bass here if you like. One, two, three, four, one. See what I mean? Or you could play uh, a B in the bass here. Like an E with a B in the bass. C sharp minor and E major are very similar sort of chords. No, that's for another time. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah? You want to get that rundown sort of vibe. You can even do that. Okay? A. And then in this fourth bar of the verse, uh, the piano actually does that kind of 70s sus4. That's almost like a D with an F sharp bass kind of vibe. Uh, that does the piano does that. So you can chuck that in. There's heaps of room there. So one, two, three, four. E major. One, two, C sharp minor. E major's open. Okay. C sharp minor at the fourth fret. One, two, three. Oh, sorry, only half a bar there. So E major. Two, three. G sharp minor. One, two, three. C sharp minor at the fourth fret. Now we've got a first time ending here. We're gonna play a D sus two. Oh, it's just killer resolution. A, two, three, B major, four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And four. See a similar 
to the intro there, basically exactly the same. One, two, three. We repeat the verse. One, two, three, four, C sharp minor. Two, three, four, A. Sus chord maybe? One, two, C sharp minor, G sharp minor. C sharp minor. Two. Second time ending, D. A. Two. Every single time in that bar, in the A after the D sus two, when it kind of goes that beautiful uplift, um, he hits on the three, right? So you get one, two, three. You know, so you just. Sorry, I should explain that better. You're going one and two and three and four and then it kicks off again. Now this time we're gonna enter into the bridge. So the first time it's a sung bridge, the second time it's a guitar solo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, D, one, two, A, four, one, two, F sharp minor, B minor this time, G7, Back to B major. Oh my god. Chords, man. And then it loops all the way back round into the verse. Okay? Plays exactly what I just played. Then, when you get to the end of that verse, before you hit the D sus2, you're gonna go to the coda, and the coda goes D sus2, two, three, A, one, then straight up to B. Flows, ralentissimo. Ralentissimo, fancy Italian word for slow down and eventually end up stopping. Like I just did mid-sentence. That was weird. Uh, and that is the end of the song. And then that's a fermata, which is also a fancy Italian word for let it ring until it don't ring no more. Uh, and that is how you play Beware of Darkness by George Harrison. Easy as. So if you would like to request a song, you can do that via my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell, and uh, I will see you there. All the best, subscribe here, and I will see you next time. Enjoy learning this absolutely awesome tune.